children and viewers in this video i am going to explain about the one important problem on concave mirror some numerical problem on concave mirror it's very important for exams in 10th class examinations it may will come for four marks question and sometimes you know they will ask for two marks also so let's go for problem here very important problem one problem is on board is there find the distance of image when an object is on the principal axis at the distance of 10 centimeters in front of concave mirror whose radius of curvature is 8 centimeters see once again find the distance of image when an object is placed on the principal axis at the distance of 10 centimeters in front of concave mirror whose radius of curvature is 8 centimeters that is the problem here given what you have to find we have to find the distance of image that means we have to find out the v value when the object is placed on the principal axis at the distance of 10 centimeters object is placed on the principal axis that means what object distance that means what object distance so how much it is 10 centimeters in front of the concave mirror whose radius of curvature is 8 centimeters so first you have to write the given values what the given data you have to mention that given values first what's that object distance u is equals how much object is placed on the principal axis at a distance of 10 centimeters 10 centimeters let's wait what you have to take we use positive or negative let us check later we check here and what was given radius of curvature r is equals to 8 centimeters what is that r is equals to 8 centimeters now what you have to find we have to find out the find the image distance then here we have to find out the v value that's the given problem clear u is 10 centimeters r is 8 centimeters and v is the we have to measure while we are doing any problem you must remember that the sign convention rules sign convention rules when the measurements what we are taken in the direction of incident light they can be taken as positive and the distances what we measure in opposite direction opposite direction of the incident light ray direction that should be taken as s in same direction means positive in opposite direction of incident light is negative so you must remember those points then we can go for sign convention what whether u is positive or u is positive or v, r is positive or negative let us check for that i am giving brief explanation for you here this is a concave mirror what's that this is the concave mirror so what you are saying radius of curvature is 8 centimeters that means here to here c this is the c how much is there 8 centimeters and when an object is placed on the principal axis at a distance of 10 centimeters that means after beyond c we have object b and c we have object so this is the object how much distance 10 centimeters and what is the radius of curvature 8 centimeters this is the 8 centimeters so already we know that r is equals to 2f what is that r is equals to 2f that is the relation between radius of curvature and focal length r is equals to 2f so what is the value of r 8 so 8 is equals to 2f then f is equals to what 4 centimeters 4 centimeters let us check f is plus 2 or positive or negative so here now just imagine this is a direction of moving of light direction of moving of light so here the distance is what we measured from the pole the distance is what we measure from the fold to the object fold to the object that is what we call object distance what we call object distance clear this is the object this is the direction of moving of light 
that's why we are taking in opposite direction of the light that's why u is negative what's that u is negative clear and after that here what i'm saying this is a c ready radius of curvature means what pole to center of curvature what we call radius of curvature that means how we are taking again again how we can take p to c we are moving moving from p to c but the light is coming from where to come it is as object opposite direction of what we are taking pc that's why here r also negative so in this way you have to observe how the u is negative how r is negative in this case o is the object and this is the pole pole to object what we call what we call focal length here pole to object what we call object distance pole to c what we call radius of curvature so what i am telling r is equals to 8 centimeters then f is equals to what 4 centimeters now this is the f this is the f so here this is the direction of incident ray light ray then all we are taking up in opposite to that one in opposite to the that one that means all are negative for concave mirror that's why i am writing u is equals to minus 10 and r is equals to minus 8 and v is equals to we have to measure already what u is given r is equals to f and 8 is equals to f then f is equals to 4 centimeter that is nothing but here minus 4 so after that here we know that what we know mirror equation 1 by f is equals to 1 by v plus 1 by u in that you have to substitute 1 by f value is what minus 4 minus 4 1 by minus 4 is equals to what you have 1 by v plus 1 by u l is what is yes, minus 10 minus 10 then after that here what you write minus 1 by 4 this is a minus 1 by 10 i am bringing this side then what you get plus 1 by 10 plus 1 by 10 is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 10 is equal to minus oh sorry is equal to 1 by v then what you get simply here minus 10 plus 4 by 40 that is equals to 1 by v so minus 10 plus 4 what you get minus 6 minus 6 by 40 is equals to 1 by v 1 by v minus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 10 is equals to 1 by v i am doing lcm that is 40 here minus 1 into 10 minus 10 plus 1 into 4 4 minus 10 plus 4 minus 6 minus 6 by 40 that is equals to what right 1 by v is equals to here i am erasing this one 1 by v is equals to simply what right minus 6 by 40 then v is equals what right 40 by minus 40 by 6 so that means what minus 20 by 3 minus 20 by 3 so 23 3 6 are 18 so that means what 6.6 .6. what's that v is equals to again what do we get minus 6.6 .6 centimeters this is the v is equals to minus 6.6 .6 centimeters so this is the children this is about the how we can find out the image distance let us see here in the given problem what he was given the object distance is minus 10 centimeters and r is equals to minus 8 centimeters and already r is equals to 2f then r is equals to means here 8 8 is equals to 2f and f is equals what right minus 4 so here how we can take the whether u is positive or negative or v is positive or negative or f is positive or negative how we can take according to the sign convention rules so that's why here i am going for here now sign convention rules so like that so this is the object already radius of curvature is how much u is given 8 centimeters and object is 10 centimeters that's why beyond c what do you have beyond c then obviously here 
when the object is beyond C, here the object will forms the image in between F and C. Okay, later we will discuss that is. So simply here, the light is coming in this direction and we are taking the F value, R value and O value, in, I mean U value in opposite direction of incident light. That's why for concave mirror all are negative. U is negative, R is negative, F is negative and V also negative. That's why here we are taking now U is minus N, R is minus N and here F is equals to 8, R is equals to F and F is equals to minus 4 centimeters. So by substitution of all these values what we get, V value is how much? Minus 6.6 .6 centimeter. So this is the one of the important problem regarding the concave mirror children. Very simple but you have first you have to observe the values which are given in the problem. That's the first thing. And second thing is what you have to measure. That is the sentence. First you have to identify that. After that here in these problems concave mirror and convex mirrors first you have to clarity about the sign convention. How we can take U is whether it is positive or negative, V is positive or negative, R is positive or negative, you have to pro properly check that one. How? By drawing simple one diagram, you can easily understand that. So after taking the R values, you have to substitute the value in the mirror equation. Obviously, we will get the what the value required for us. We will get it easily by substitution of all the values in the given formula. So children, I hope you understand. After watching this video, like, share and comment the video, subscribe my channel for latest updates. Bye, take care.